Mr. Paxman told The Sun how the Princess of Wales invited him to an intimate lunch in Kensington Palace in 1996, a year before she died. He noted that it seemed quite lonely there. The journalist recalled how, as he was leaving, he said to Diana, what a strange place this is. So quiet, and yet over there there is the bustle of Kensington High Street. It's a bit like a prison. The princess replied, it's not a prison at all, Jeremy. More like an upmarket Coronation Street. As we go out, you will see all the curtains twitching. Who would want to be a royal? Redmore, Princess Diana's only royal family friend and champion revealed the pair connected talking about their children and Diana told him a fascinating story about her sons. The former Newsnight presenter said, we talked about our children and she said William often told her that he didn't really want to be king, and then Harry would say, if you don't want the job I'll have it, Mr. Paxman, who presents University Challenge, said the invite from the princess came out of the blue. He said, about a year before she died her secretary rang me up and asked me to lunch. I've no idea why. He described Diana as stunningly glamorous. Mr. Paxman also claimed the popularity of Prince Charles plummeted after he divorced Diana. He joked, Charles was sought after like a prawn cracker in a dirty ashtray. Diana divorced Charles in 1996 and died in a car crash in Paris in August 1997.